Hello everybody and welcome back to Oak Glen Farm. This is the Oakfield Farm map, but we're not actually going to work at Oakfield Farm. We are just here at the pig farm. So it's like a different series altogether. It is a different series altogether. But as you can see, we have a beautiful reflection in the puddle just here. Very nice. Um, but yeah, let me just explain something very quickly. It is late winter. This is the final day of winter, although it's still going to feel very wintry for the next few days. If we go into the forecast just here, you can see that we do actually have still a lot of very cold temperatures over the next two days. And there is even snow on the forecast as well tomorrow, which is the first day of spring. But it won't feel it. Not with these temperatures. But then you can see we have like an outlier here. It's 21 degrees. So that is obviously going to be a turning point. It's going to feel very hot. So Tuesday is going to be a very good day for working on the fields. But I'm hoping to actually get onto the land before then because I do have the big field to start cultivating. Field number 33, as you can see, is showing up as purple, which means harvested. That is not cultivated, so that has to be cultivated if I'm going to do any direct if I'm not going to do any direct drilling, sorry. If I am, then it's fine. I can just put the drill straight onto it. 47 is cultivated, so I don't have to uh, cultivate if I'm if I'm going to use just a standard drill. So I don't know how I'm going to tackle the uh, field 33 at the moment, but I'm hoping to uh, get that drilled as soon as it becomes mild. And if it does need to be cultivated first, then yeah, maybe in the next day or two. Anyway. Today, because it is still winter and it is still minus 3 out here, very cold, the ground temperature is minus 1, so not quite as cold but still frozen, um, we are going to be working in the yard, but we're also going to be working further afield, uh, but not in a field, uh, we're going to be getting the pigs sorted out, so we have to go and retrieve the pigs, get a livestock trailer, and also get the food. Now the food to begin with is the priority. There's absolutely no point in buying the pigs first because then they're just going to be neglected instantly because they're not going to have any water or anything to eat and that is just going to be cruel and yes seasons does allow the animals to die so I really do not want to lose any animals. It's costly and like I said it's cruel so this has to be done properly. Into the fit what I'm going to do is take this over to the store to begin with and we are going to pick up a trailer I'm going to be buying the livestock trailer later, but to begin with, it is going to be the flatbed trailer to put the pig food on. Now, obviously, in the ideal world, I would already have a supply from the previous summer. So I'd have the grain, I'd have the grass and hay and straw and everything. But because this is the first time we've been at the farm, our very first winter, uh, we haven't been here for the summer, so we don't have anything. We have no supplies, meaning we have to rely on other farmers to sell us of their products, which is expensive, but this is the only winter it's going to have to happen. And also, because it is getting close to the end of winter, hopefully we don't have to buy too much. So we're just going to take a look into the prices. I'm not expecting to be paying a very small amount here. It is going to be substantial, but we do have the money to start off with, which is very nice. So yeah, there is still rain and uh, snow and sleet, in fact, on the forecast. Uh, well, rain is sort of expected, but the snow is not as welcome. They still have not put salt in their, in their yard area. So we can slide everywhere. They should open it up as an ice rink or something. Two pound per person. Anyway, yes, let's buy this trailer. I think probably the best one to go for is the lizard trailer. Okay, so this is the one here, but actually I've decided I might actually use this later uh, with the low loader design for transporting other things. I think probably for today, I'm gonna to go for the big trailer because we do actually have to have a fairly substantial flatbed for transporting bales from the field. Let's just see. Um, yes, this one here, the Flegel for square bales. That's perfect, that is gonna be great. So that I would say is gonna be a good setup. We don't have to do too much customizing here. I customize the tires. But otherwise, that is absolutely fine. So if I can just purchase that, 28,000. And I do need to get a lorry as well. But I think just for now, we're going to keep it on a dolly. It will be taken off the dolly once I know exactly how much money we have left over after buying the combine harvester and the implements and stuff because we have loads of things to buy. Okay, good. So that is going to be a good, efficient way of transporting things. We don't have a small trailer. We can just do everything in one load. 
And yeah, this tractor is going to be high enough horsepower to tow it. It is 130 horsepower, so that is fine. We're buying the pigs a little bit later, like I said before. I just need to make sure they have everything they require. So, if I can just position this somewhere better, I've got stuck on my own snowdrift. Yeah, so if we can position this a bit better, like over here, then I'm going to have a good area to load it up. Need lots of space, don't want the tractor to be in the way. So that should be, that should be fine. So, yeah, I really need to get a telehandler, I really do. I'm thinking that I might actually get the JCB from the Polish packs. I, I really did um, love that. I really did. I, th I think it is a great mod. And although it is very old, um, it, it just has a special place in my heart, at least, for this game. I think it's great. It's just got this uh, sort of nostalgic feel to it because it is such old-fashioned 1980s style. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go for that. We'll go for the white cab. And I'll go for the narrow tyres on the back. Because for whatever reason, it seems to be much more expensive. And I don't know if it's, it is actually benefiting in any way. But it just sort of suits it better. It's sort of keeping the 1980s style for whatever reason. Um, so that should be all I require. Yeah, so I do have the snow tracks enabled. So it should leave some tracks in the snow, hopefully. But it's probably a bit too deep. Uh, if it does get too deep, then it does struggle to leave a good track and this is the JCB which actually requires a front loader's fork to work effectively so this one here mm, might go for red actually because you know the 3CX's and stuff I know they're not telehandlers but the 3CX's did have at uh, one stage a red bucket and in fact I have seen some brand new JCB 3CX's with or 4CX's with a red bucket like they're bringing it back or something I'm not too sure if it was just like a sort of in memory of, I don't know, but um, yeah, like a heritage remake, <laughs> I have no idea, but yeah, I did see a red bucket one, so I'm not too sure if it's going to be making a return. Anyway, we need to go into, um, let's just see here, I've never done pigs before on FS19, there should be a pig food pallet or something somewhere like right in front of my eyes okay so i'm going to spam this we'll get three or four maybe five and all i have to do now is load it up so here we go hopefully my loading skills are up to it Okay, so the pig food is on board. Now what we have to have is a load of bales. Now the bales which I need, definitely straw bales. I don't know, because I'm still learning, uh, if we need to have anything else. Now I'm just gonna have a quick look. No, I did check yesterday. We don't need anything else, just straw. Uh, we don't actually have to have the straw, we can just keep the slurry, but I think it would be nice to have solid manure. Uh, I, I believe it, it sort of, is easier to work with when it comes to spreading. I'm pretty sure it doesn't unload quite as quickly. The spreader doesn't unload as quickly as a slurry tank, but obviously it's going to come down to the size of the spreader or the tank. Uh, so, yeah, let's get some bales, which will be expensive. So, I think... I don't want to go over the top. Um, it's doing it in a stack of, a stack of four, which is frustrating. We'll do three. We'll definitely do three. I do only have the pallet forks here as well. But they should work. Should be okay. Just depends if this is heavy enough on the back to pick up three bales. <laughs> I don't know. I might just do a great big wheelie. Oh, it's pretty good. This is a stable machine. And I'm slightly boomed out. I don't particularly want to have three together though. I might have to drop one off the top. It's also still quite dark. I 
Okay, that's good. And then I'll take the top one off. Back and go here. Right. Okay, so uh, that should be, I'm hoping, a fairly good starting point. Pig food covers everything, so you don't have to worry about getting wheat, barley, canola, all that sort of stuff. It just is everything. Um, and I, I can remember from 17, it didn't really go very far. One bag of it was just nothing, because it spreads it out over everything. So, I don't know, we'll just we'll have to see how it goes, but I'm not really expecting any miracles here. I'm expecting it to totally fulfil their requirements. But of course, I don't know exactly what their requirements are, because we currently don't own them. So, where are you going? Come back here! Okay, you stay there. Let's go. Whatever you're doing. I don't know whether to buy them first before I give them the food, because usually it sort of calculates how much you require depending on how many you've got. So I might just... Oh, hopefully the next worker does a better job. Yeah, so I might just go and buy the pigs and then because we have everything ready we can give it to them instantly but actually no I haven't got the water I should give them the water first so I, sh I should get the water ready first I should say that would be a good thing to do come on snow you can start melting oh, it's still minus one so yeah no chance of that in fact I can't remember what the forecast is for today uh, it's going to get up to oh it's going to get up to five degrees potentially maximum temperature so yeah should start to thaw. There's the farm. Just a settlement within the snow. Quite beautiful, really. As horrible as the winter is, you've got to admit, it, sometimes it can be quite pretty. It's like, I've, I think I've said this before, it's like when you have an animal which is just so ugly it becomes pretty. <laughs> I, I don't know if you've ever found that, but you sort of think, Oh, that animal or that dog or something or that cat is so ugly. It's normally a specific breed rather than a certain animal in particular, a certain individual. But yeah, it, like, it becomes pretty or adorable if it's, if it's so ugly. Um, like the winter, it's so bitter and cold, but it can be very pretty indeed. Anyway, yes, let's put this just over here. If I can just stop the JCB following me. We are going to take this around the corner later, but at the moment it just wants to stay out of the way. As for water, I actually don't know where the water fill point is. I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, I think, well, there was definitely one over at the other farm, so there must be one here. Got to be. Bear with me as I go and search for it. Here we go. This must be it. So yeah, you didn't have to bear with me. I just jump cut. Much more sensible. Okay. So, let's get it filled up. Now, before anybody says anything, yes, I could have used the front loader to move the bells and stuff, but I, I always want to have a telehandler as well. The uh, front loader is extra. It's just handy to have a tractor with a front loader. I always prefer to move bells and things with the telehandler because they always seem to be better counterbalance. You don't have to go and get another weight. Uh, is this costing me money? It doesn't seem to be, unless it does charge me when I've moved away. We'll soon find out. Actually, as it's filling up, there is a great big line of snow, which is sort of frustrating. I keep driving over it and I don't want it to be here. So if I can just get that to be thrown right into the side, I don't know if it's possible, it's quite a good depth. But um, yes, if, if we can get it thrown into the side, that'd be great. Let's just see. Angle the plough right over there. Hopefully. Yeah, that's good. Perfect it's more in the middle of the yard rather than out of the way and I should think even when the snow starts to melt the great big pile will stay for much longer than anything else in fact we do already have a great big load in front of the trough as well which isn't ideal I do not want this here it does help if I lower the, uh, the blade okay this might be a bigger job than I was first anticipating. Well, if it's in a pile, out of the way, then it's good. It's a vast improvement anyway, so it's very wintry around here. But I have run out of salt, and I don't really want to buy any more salt at the moment. Obviously, if we had a big heavy snowfall, 
I would have to, but yeah, it should start to melt naturally. As you can see, it is now 2 degrees. The air temperature is 2, so it, it's heating up. It's getting much milder. Um, right, 8,000 litres in here. Don't think it's going to charge me, which is nice. That's very kind of them. Uh, and yeah, nothing to put in yet. I'm not going to put anything in until I have the pigs. So, uh, maybe I should use the same tractor actually. It's a good tractor to use for towing the livestock trailer. Now, the livestock trailer which I've chosen is actually a base price, it has a base price of £15,000, but I'm going to do a bit of customising to it. I'm going to put some zinc plating on it and also some different tyres, and it should bring the total to about sixteen and a half thousand. So, yeah, it's, it's still quite cheap. Plus, it is cheaper than the Joskin trailer, which can only take nine pigs, and this one is a Flieger, which can take 12 pigs, and it's cheaper, even with the modifications. I really have no idea how long it's going to be until the ground thaws uh, to be manageable, but, um, yeah, frozen soil. It's going to hang around while the temperatures are close to zero. If we do get five today, that's great. That would be really helpful. Okay, so we need to go into the animal transport section. You can see this one here at the end, the Flegel, is 15,000 and it takes 12 pigs. This one, from the base game, only takes 9 pigs and it's 24,000. So this one is definitely the one to go for. Uh, yes, I was going to go for Michelin. No, I go for Lizard. I go for Lizard, but I have a different design colour. I think. Yes, I go for John Deere Green, which is the tarpaulin on the top. And I go for Zinc here, which is this one. I have already looked at these, and the Zinc one looks the best in my opinion. So, saves me having to bore you looking at all the different <laughs> configurations. Uh, so yeah, there we go. One thing I've noticed is because the obviously the snow is very white, uh, it sort of adjust the exposure of the game. It makes everything else look quite dark. But we are now ready to go over to the livestock market, which is left out of here. And we can pick up the first 12 pigs. Now there are four different breeds. Uh, and I don't really know which one to go for. I don't know whether to go for a cheap one and get more of a cheaper breed or less of a more expensive breed. Usually when it comes to that situation, I just go for a happy medium, whichever is in the middle. Not cheap, not expensive. I don't know if I mentioned before, but it is going to be an episode to an in-game day, otherwise we're never going to progress. I do currently have it set to six days per season, but I have a feeling that's going to be reduced to three, uh, especially in winter, because, well, six days of winter is going to really drag on. What I might do, actually, if it's possible, is have six days in the summer, and spring and autumn and three days in the winter possibly. I know you can adjust it, it's just I don't know if it messes the game up. Anyway, here we are, the livestock market, and there is quite clearly a warm patch. Whoa, whoa, that is very slippery. I'm turning but not actually turning. Let's get into the warm patch where you can't skid. Um, yes, so we have the Yorkshire. This is a a breed obviously. Uh, 265, that is the mother breed. Fast growing but requires a high amount of capital for the initial purchase. Hmm. The old spot is slower growing animal but is cheaper to purchase initially. Very hardy and great for a stack. Hang on, have they got that? I think that might be back to front. This one is cheaper at 576. This one is more expensive at 265. Possibly back to front, potentially. Um, so actually we have male and female as well, I think. I think that's what the F and the M is, it would make sense. So what we need to have, I would say, is a good mixture. I think I might have two different breeds. I'm going to go for the cheapest, which is the Yorkshire. And also I'll go for the Gloucestershire Old Spot, which is not the most expensive, but it is still expensive. So if I get one load of these to begin with, We'll come back for the Yorkshires in a second, and then I can give them the water and the food that they require. Hopefully in the, whatever it is, five to ten minutes it will take to get the next load, they're not going to be neglected. They certainly shouldn't be, uh, although I do have the time set to time 15, so maybe for that very short period 
I should put it to real time, just to avoid any issues. I'm sure it will be fine though, but let's take a look at my pigs. The first time I've purchased pigs. Good grief. Not your better end, is it? Yeah, uh, first time I've purchased pigs in FS19. Shame they're not looking the other way. It would be a better sight. Plenty of rumps. Also, if you're not familiar with the Seasons mod yet, which I'm, I can't confidently say that I am, because I'm still learning myself, but uh, if you leave your animals in the trailer, if you think, ha, ah, I have a good trick, I don't have to feed them if I keep them in the trailer, well, they do die. They will die in the trailer. You must give them food. And actually, if you wanted to take a shortcut, <laughs> then you might as well just not have Seasons, because you don't have to feed them if you don't want to as much on in the base game. They're not going to die. So, yeah. I think you've got to be a real fan and a real realistic fan, a realism fan I should say, uh, to go for the Seasons mod, because it is challenging. I'm going to be finding it quite difficult, but it's great. It is great in every possible way. It's a game changer. It really is. That could never be argued. Anyway, it's now 5 degrees. The soil temperature is still minus 1 because it was just so cold, but yeah, 5 degrees air temperature which might be enough to start melting the snow, hopefully. Right. So let's get these first 12 put into the enclosure, and then I head back and get the other 12 Yorkshires. I don't know what Yorkshires are like, but we'll soon find out. I should probably reverse into there. Have I messed this turning up? I think I have. My bank of snow is a bit in the way. Yeah, yeah, that, that, I've made my own mountain. Now, I don't know if you have to. I will open the gate. I don't know if you have to. But yeah, for realism's sake, I will open it. I have got stuck. My foot has got stuck in a trough. And I'm not joking. My foot has actually... <laughs> it's actually got stuck in this feed trough. Oh, how do I get myself into these positions? Help. Help me. Well, I'm out. I am finally out. So off you go, pigs. Into your area. Enjoy. I'll be back in a second and you'll have some food in a minute. Like I said, we'll put the time to real time just to avoid any issues. Because I'd hate to be penalised for just buying some more. But there's not much point in giving them food before we have them all in. I'd likely have to feed them twice to boost the amount up to the correct amount. And here we are to pick up the Yorkshires. Um, yeah, I really do like that they have breeds, instead of just being called pig. This was mentioned in my wanted list for FS21. It was suggested by many other viewers. Anyway, pigs, yeah. Uh, Yorkshires. So they're £265, which means they are the cheapest, so they must just be not great, not terrible. Okay, off we go. Let's go and give them to the other pigs, and then they can get on. Very, very pink pigs. And here we are, back once again at the farm. So I am hoping to get some more, uh, probably not straight away. I need to see how these are getting on. Also, I need to just familiarise myself with feeding them. Of course, it's going to be a bit different when we have the individual products. This is nice and easy where you just have a pig food palette to give to them. But, yeah, it's going to change. It does become more tricky. I'm not too sure if there's actually a pig food maker where you sort of throw the ingredients in and it turns them into, turns it into just pig food like it did do in 17. If there was a mod for it, uh, that would be good. Saves having to give them every single ingredient continuously. But yeah, um, I do need to somehow make the pig rearing job a little bit faster. Because I know in the game it's not really worth a great deal of money. I have made a pig levitate. Off you go. I think I bought 12. Right, so, I don't think they can escape, I'm, I'm sure it's still the way the game is set out, so they are sort of within a boundary. But you all want food, don't you? You're all trying to snuggle in the snow and there's no food, so this is very cruel. Let me give you some. 
I need to give you, I think water first, not that a few minutes is going to make a big difference, but yeah, I, I do need to give them water, so at least they have a drink. Hopefully, hopefully there is going to be space to manoeuvre. I'm going to put this away in here. Oh, that's a beam. Right, that should be okay if I don't crash. Nice. As I mentioned, I'm going to keep things undercover now. I'm not going to leave things lying around. I'm going to try my best. Right, so the water trough is the one in front of us. Don't think I have to reverse over to it. I think I can just go alongside. I wonder if the water can freeze. Um, have I chosen the wrong trough? No, I think I was just set out wrong. There we go. Uh, so they have taken 4% of the tanker. But that does fill their trough. And it suffices for well, two days. But I think the Seasons mod actually does recommend giving them food and water every single day. It would be a good idea. In case you forget, that's what the two-day allowance is for. That can go in there. Have I hit something? I think I have. And and then terrible driving. Uh, yeah, then I can give them the food. This is going to require the JCB. And I'm looking forward to going onto the menu, the animal menu, and seeing everything looking perfect. It's going to be hard to believe, but yeah, here we are. I have to bring the JCB around. And I'm also going to have to put a tractor on the bale shredder. Also, I've just realised the automatic engine start was on, so it was turning the tractor's engine off every time. Uh, which I don't really like, so I do like to keep it on. As you've probably noticed. So, I do not want to be in the way. I also need to leave enough space to manoeuvre. So that should, hopefully be a good place for me. Let's take these straps off. And then I can start giving them their food. Yeah, I think this is really good, this JCB. So what I'll do is I'll show you the first one going in. And if they're going to require all of them, I'll, I'll do the, the middle ones and I'll show you the last one going in too. But it might be that they only need one. But judging by that fill rate, I think they're going to need a few. There we go. Yes. So yeah, they, they need all of them, I would say. Close to all of them. I'll continue. Okay, so I have done quite a few. Uh, and we now only have, really, the potatoes and sugar beet category that needs to be filled up. I'm hoping that it's not going to split it. I'm hoping that it's just going to convert one bag load into just the soybeans and potatoes. Is that updating? Yeah, it is. Um, so I, I really don't know how many bags we're going to have to actually give them to fulfill the potato and sugar beet category. But hopefully not too many. <laughs> we'll soon find out. It's actually unloading very slowly. Is it from too far away? Nope. It seems to be just filling up at that rate anyway. But it's looking good. It's looking very good. I've left that one unloading. I've got another one as well. Um, yeah, probably... It's turning out to be probably expensive potatoes, but at least it's going to totally fulfil the requirement there, which will only leave straw. But it won't be left, because I actually do have a straw shredder ready to go. Uh, we've also got bales just there. It's also going dark. <laughs> That's the problem with winter. It's dark by five. Well, it's dark by four, actually, but uh, it's good of them to give us an extra hour. It's going to depend on what part of the world you're in, of course. Uh, so, yeah, let's get into the... Probably the Massey Ferguson. And I will attach to the straw shredder. We'll very quickly get some bales shredded. And then everything will be perfect. 
So yeah, it gives you a good idea of how much work is put into looking after the pigs. And if they're not going to reproduce very fast, then yeah, it's not really worth it. But it's just so nice to do something different. And when you've got seasons, when you can't just harvest crops continuously, in the winter time, for example, it, it's something to do. You would be sure something to do otherwise. I can go there, and then we can uh, sort out this. It's suddenly unloading so slowly, it's actually empty. It's full. It's full. Not empty. Uh, I'm going to grab a bale, and we'll shred the first one. And I, I wouldn't be surprised, actually, if they only require one. But they might require two. Some good sized bales here. Now, I'm fully aware that you can actually unfold the back of the bale shredder, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to drop it in over the top, or just on the ground. I should have spiked it better, and it is a pallet fork. Um, right. <laughs> that should go in. That should be fine. Come on. Go in. Yes. Good. Just turned around and we're now ready. We're facing the right way. Uh, so yeah, just shred it. It's six degrees. Wow. But yeah, soil temperature exactly the same. Yeah, one bale should do it. No problem at all. In fact, probably even one bale is too much. I wouldn't be surprised if that stops. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what do you think to that condition? It couldn't be better. It really couldn't. So the health should stay high, and uh, they're going to get to work. It should be good. I don't know if I've done something wrong. I might have done, but, for example, mixing the breeds, I don't know. We will soon find out. But what I do need to do now is just put this away, and then we are going to call it an evening. We'll call it a day, in fact. But, yeah, what do you think? The progress is quite good. Yeah, worst thing about winter, except for it being cold, is that it just goes dark so early. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. And it will be spring next time. Bye for now.